Hey everyone, my name's Silver, and I'm a very tired Silver, and welcome back to my channel. So today guys, we're here with episode 18 of Cardfight Vanguard, GZ. And it's the episode review, so last week on episode 17, I decided not to post or <coughs> post the review I did. There wasn't a lot in the episode, and I was super sick. I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm not going to say I'm superb better. I still have a really bad cough. So I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. Um, this week's episode was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Um, not too much happened. And that's what we're going to sort of cover. But let's get into it. So the episode starts off with Q4, Kazuto's brother, and Noah's friends chilling here, talking about the cards. And it, it sticks to a pretty standard format for an episode today. Uh, they're talking about how the they know they want the they know the the apostles want these cards, so that's what they're sort of talking about. Um, and then we get a few a little bit more conversation, and then Darkface comes in and just starts throwing sticks of dynamite. <coughs> Sorry, starts throwing sticks of dynamite everywhere, just invading. He's looking for Kamui, trying to just be an overall bad guy. He's just boom boom. Um, Aichi sees Noah, and Noah sort of walks down the corner, and Aichi follows. He makes it into the main control room, where everyone's chilling out. And it's just like, well, I'm here. And prior, he infects the computer with a virus. Um, so they all activate a system, which allows them to try... Trap them into a card fight. Uh, Kamui says, Haha, I'm gonna hold you here. But Darkface has other plans. He takes Masaki instead. Like, he's just up and, Yep, Masaki's mine. She's coming with me. You, There's nothing you can do to stop me. <coughs> and yeah, that's about it. He, uh, the, re the same thing sort of happens with the rest of the group with... Uh, Kazuto and his brother chilling, meeting up and talking. So I still think Kazuto's brother is Kazuto is pretty cool. Um, yeah. So Kazuto is here to get the the Earth Dragons, and Aichi and Kai corner Noah in the same trap as they did with Darkface. And overall, it's pretty straightforward. They just sort of trap them to card fight them and that's what the next couple weeks are going to be next week's looks to be chaos versus overlord and blaster blade and we might even see kazuto's fight as well which will be pretty nice so yeah pretty standard episode um noah opens up a subspace and says yep we're doing a 2v3 or 2v1 so, it looks like they might be entering a new format to the Vanguard recipe. Where you could sort of do some sort of open <coughs> battle style. I mean, it's there. But obviously, they're playing a 2v1. Which will be interesting to watch. And I'm super excited for that. And... Um, so... Yeah, I guess we just get the standard half-face of... Kazuto and Kazuma just getting ready to fight. I'm super tired. I'm sorry. I just really like this because it's nice and symmetrical and symmetry. Two brothers, same half of the coin. Plus their hair. Their hair is awesome. Um, We get the same thing, sort of same split screen. For Aichi, Noah, and Kai. And same thing for Misaki and Darkface. And that's where the game, the episode sort of picks up in pace. Um, we, it focuses mainly on their fight. We go to commercial and we come back. We see Misaki's at four and Darkface is at two. <coughs> damage and Masaki just rides her new uh, regalia of wisdom 
It's just like, yep, I'm going to use Vanguard stuff. And Dark Face sort of guards her first line of attacks. Nothing really exciting. And then Dark Face turns, comes around, and he's just like, nope, Xerox Dragon. He just, pe he just literally G guards three times and says, okay, Xerox Dragon time. That's, yeah, it's basically where this episode's climactic fight came from. I really like this picture because it shows us Zoa and Masaki's unit. And he calls upon, he calls himself, and he has a really strong line of defense. Masaki blocks his attack. He zero, he, he attacks with a rear, and then he attacks with his broken rear, and Masaki just PGs. Um, and then we get flashback to what's going on in the real world where Kamui and the rest are struggling to fight this virus dark face uploaded and he's just saying danger danger sort of being annoying <coughs> um, And then Misaki perfect guards like I stated earlier and It becomes her turn After we see the g-zone fly away and dark face freaks out about his g-zone and how precious it is. Yeah, Dark Face sort of loses his mind in this episode, sort of like uh, Valos did in, when he fought Shion. He's obsessed. So Masaki comes and she uses her Regalia attacks and then uses her Regalia's ultimate skill to stand all units with Regalia in their name, making Regalia even more broken, which is okay with me because Regalia is awesome. And yeah, that's sort of where the fight ends. Um, they're still fighting the virus, and then they fix it because it wouldn't be an episode if they didn't fix it. And then yeah, that was sort of it. The episode was pretty standard. Uh, it ends with this being uh, set up for next week's episode. So next week will be Kai, Chaos, and Aichi fighting. Um, we also get this little clip. So I think we're going to be seeing Nubatama versus Shadow Paladins again tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, but next week. We get to see Aichi, Blaster Blade, <coughs> in the void of space and stuff. Um, And Noah somehow helps out because his one arm is free. Really, I mean, this episode wasn't, you know, super news-breaking or s had a lot of new stuff. It was just sort of a fight between Regalia and Darkface. It was a nice fight. At least gave us more than last week's <coughs> episode, and that's what I liked about it. Plus, it gave us some information. And I'm really glad that this week's episode is short because I'm super tired. And until next time, guys, I've been Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.